way, oh Heavenly Father. Move on out the way, oh Heavenly Father. And you step in, Father. Calm my nerves, oh Heavenly Father. Let my mouth say what my eyes see on this paper. I thank you for the word, Father. I thank you for the opportunity. I thank you for your mercy and your grace, Father. For I know it was only you that have brought me thus far. service. Thank you, Lord. These and other blessings I ask in thy darling son, Jesus' name. Amen. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I feel nervous. That's all right, baby. That's all right. Praises to God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Honor to Pastor Herndon, other ministers of the gospel. Good morning, Mark Good morning. To all my brothers and sisters in Christ. Yes. My mentor, the late Reverend Ozzy Dunn told me that if you're invited someplace, do your best. Oh, yes. Yes. And if they invite you again, you must have done all right. <laughs> he said, and if they invite you again, you done all right, but the other person didn't come. <laughs> but I've been invited more times and times, and I want to thank you all for it using me to share this spiritual gift that God gave me of just to speak his word. Amen. The first time I came to you was we're at the crossroads. Make a decision. Mm. Then it was let your scars turn into stars. Mm. It was another one, two or three. But my last time here was probably in September of 19, I told you to count it all joy. Oh, but this morning, I guess I'm nervous because our dean and Velma called me so long ago back and they told me the scripture. And that's what I had in my mind on, so that's probably why I'm nervous because I know we've come this far by faith. But I come to encourage some and witness to others yes. that there is victory yes. and steadfast faith in today's society, for we walk yeah. by faith, yeah. not by sight. Yeah. That's the theme scripture of 2 Corinthians 5 and 7. Yeah. But I added a scripture, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, yeah. Yeah. but against principalities, yeah. against powers, against the rulers of darkness yeah. in this world, yeah. against spiritual weaknesses in high places, Ephesians 6 and 12. Yeah. The key words in the theme is we, walk, and sight. But the most significant is faith. We, that's God's faithful people, Christians, the church, walk to pursue a course of action or ways of life or how to move along during the course of your life. Faith, believing and trusting only God, following his will and his way. And sight, trusting in self and what can be perceived with the human eye. Mm -hmm. You better not let your eye fool you. Yeah. Because what you see is not always what you get. I know y'all remember that. Because I bought some personal cheerleaders. Oh, Y'all yeah. know about Second Ward High School class of 74. Yeah. They are in the house. <laughs> <laughs> and I got a friend that we did a lot of first. First Sunday school, first speech, first devotion, baptized together. So y'all come on, I ain't gonna mention my sister over there. Great <laughs> day. We walk by faith, yeah. not by sight. In a world where belief is easily compromised for the sake of what is accepted or what is popular, how can we continue to stand on our faith? 
How can we live a better life that honors God, even if it means not knowing all the answers to our questions? Faith. Faith is a five-letter word that speaks volumes. In fact, our Christian life is impossible without faith. Yeah. It's amazing how this word can do so much with just a little bit of it. Yeah. St. Matthew 17, 